Hello, I'm Susan Kirk, and I'm one of the exhibitors of, in the Birds of a Feather show. And I'd like, this is your, we are in my studio now, and I'd like to share some of my pieces, and also a little bit about me. So I, I um, first fell in love with birds when I lived in Ojai about 45 years ago. And I, I met the cedar waxwings and the and the northern flicker, and I made drawings and paintings of them, and just felt really a connection with the with the birds. And this is a painting I did about 12 years ago, and I call it Abundance. And it's here we have the cedar waxwings and the the northern flicker. And I knew when when our family moved to Chico 20 years ago that this was the this was the, going to be a good place because we saw in the winter time the cedar waxwings came into the tree the per, big persimmon tree next door and along with robins and the flickers so this is a wonderful um, area for birds i now mostly make um, my birds as sculptures and i'll show you you follow me <laughs> over here. Um, this is a little vermilion flycatcher, and I just love it when when I'm building the bird. It's all this raw clay, and it, they're just these little shapes. And when I finally finish carving it and um, glazing them, I end up with these little creatures, and they're they're very they they seem to come to life. And then I off, I'll I'll put them on a, a stacked. Let me see. I use on a stacked pole, and I carve the beads, and um, and add uh, different pieces of metal to them that I find just to and wood. Some the the bases are wood. Um, and these these go directly in someone's garden. These, here's the California quail and I like to make use, I like to incorporate metal and clay together a lot because I like the way they, the textures and the um, mater, different materials. So this year I decided to make um, some vessels because we, we going. I felt like I needed to just make things that were comforting to me because this was a, a kind of a strange time being so isolated. So I, the vessel represents the female form. Also, it just, it's a, it, it's a container for whatever. And so I, I make these vessels out of uh, uh, the coil method. And I, on each one, I decided to carve something that um, brought me joy. Or that I felt gratitude for, and these. This is um, this is a little bush tit, and there was this pair of bush tits in our yard that built this nest in our tree, and we got to what took about a month for them to make this nest, and it was so fun to watch them bring all these little things, and there. If you look at the nest, you can't. Yeah, can't really see the nest too well. Anyway, it it was um, a pleasure to watch them build this and see them inside moving around and anyway that's what I did all all this past year I was I've made many vessels <laughs> and I have uh, it's so I'm sharing them with you I haven't shared them with anyone yet so this is my first their first exposure so I want to thank you very much for your time and I hope you enjoy all the artwork that from, from the other exhibitors and um, I hope sometime you'll come to my studio and you can see see my work in person. Thank you.